Hello and welcome to yet another short OMC video from Violent Town. Uh, I have done all the uh, bus stops um, and also in the whole file. This is how they look in the editor. Uh, there are always a red box if it's an active uh, bus stop. And if it's an active bus stop, it's also in the whole file. Now, to be totally honest, I don't think the last whole file I did was that perfect. <laughs> that is, I have put in a lot of yeah, unnecessary bus stops. And they're not in the uh, trips and tracks later on. And that why, probably why the AI can't read them. Anyway, that's how we are going to do it now. Uh, an active bus stop, you can always see by this lamp. Let's see if I can just push it. This lamp here. Uh, that means that it's an active one. If you are having the help arrows up as well, then you can see it on the H. These two things makes it an active bus stop. That means that they might be people wanting to get off or on on that one. Um, and uh, the light is also something that me and uh, M uh, Mantalo was talking about because he was driving a bus line in the middle of the night <laughs> or in the morning or whatever it was. It was dark. And when he came up to a bus stop, he couldn't see if there were any people there at all. He couldn't. So um, I thought, well, why not just put a light? Hopefully this little light here will help him, us, see the passengers. It's not easy. Uh, for now, I would recommend only driving in daylight because there is no street lights or such. I also had to do the splines totally and i use these um, invisible streets as you probably can see but in order to connect them from here to there i had to have a uh, an other way so i had to do a invisible street that was going the other way so to speak um, and yet not uh, backwards let me show you so they come and this one is actually, as you probably can see on, on the picture, is actually going the wrong other way. But the track doesn't. The track goes correct. What I do is that I just re, um, replace a zero with a, a one or a one with a zero the other way around. And that way you can get them go the other way. I don't bother with the picture. <laughs> I could I could do that as well, but I don't bother. Um, so uh, this is how it looks in the editor. So let's see it in the game. Okay, we are now coming up towards the um, bus stop, and I finally got my pedals in order. It was just <laughs> making the default. Now, as you remember, we all have that little lamp we are going to see. But this is one of the problems. I have the sun right in my eye and I, well, I know where it is. But if you don't know where it is, it's still a very tiny one, as you probably can see over here. So that's all there is to it, actually. Uh, let's do this, and this, and this. So, it's not much you can see. Uh, at the moment, I don't have the help arrows on. Let's put them on as well. Uh, there. And that makes it a bit easier, of course. But if you are driving without, you're going to have... It's not a big difference between a non-active and an active bus stop. So I think it's, it's a very tiny bit I have done. Now the help arrows is the best thing. So I'm putting them back on. Um, yeah, 
and that's it. Now I'm going to do the trips and tracks and the new ta timetables. It's about time today to do some new timetables. Uh, because mine is three years old, the one that I use. Um, and we also have the City Line 171 added as a new bonus. And, and then it's a beta test. No, it's an alpha test first and then it's a beta test. And I hope that I will give the uh, beta testers as much help arrows that I can. But I'm not really into making them all. Perhaps you can drive from bus stop to bus stop. Let me know if you're needing a lot of uh, arrows or not. But we'll get back to that as well in the mail later on. Well, that's that for now. Um, hopefully it will be just a fortnight or so. Uh, my vacation is coming up and I will work a lot on this file in town during my vacation. Um, it's, it's Sweden, so probably it's hot like heck hell or it's raining like flood. So we'll see. Thanks for listening in, and uh, we'll be back with more Fire and Town. I promise. Bye for now.